Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dave Klein, aka Dave Control, and it's time to play some Dark Souls 3 Network Stress Test Version, Beta Test Version edition of it. So, do Kita, but I can't. So, yeah, I just got this game. I was like, uh, I gotta play it ASAP. So, let's jump right into it. I'll do my best. Uh, let's see. So, Flame is visible and Dragon is invisible. Oh man, what, what are they trying to say? Is it like Age of Fire and Age of Dark? Eh? Eh? I like that, though. You know what I'm talking about. That's I think they've done that before, though, where they've had it. It's always been a flame and a dragon, if I'm not mistaken. So, a little bit of story there, actually, which is pretty funny right off the bat. All right, so here's something actually worth talking about that I noticed. Uh, so, outside of, like, I always reverse my camera Y axis because that's the way to play. But your jump controls, you can switch around to L3 or circle as per uh, Dark Souls 2. And I, people were mad that I asked Miyazaki this question, but it's because uh, some people, someone asked me to, because some people hate having circles to jump. Uh, there's actually something else in options that I wanted to show that I'll show in a bit. Okay, so this is actually my, I literally just started playing this. I played the demo at E3, and this is, from my understanding, the same demo that was at E3. I didn't play it at E3, I played it at another event, and I played it at PAX Prime a little bit, and I think it's the same demo, but with more. So, do I want to be an Academy Assassin or Wandering Knights? Assassin, that looks pretty cool, actually. Let's go Assassin. I haven't done that one. Alright. The, the first two there I played um, on the PAX Prime demo. The two on the right are new to me completely, so... Uh, those are new. I am going to be working on a bigger edited video about Dark Souls 3. So you guys know, it's something that I've been wanting to make for ever since E3. But since I didn't have footage of the game, I didn't feel comfortable making this awesome edited video of it because I want to have good footage to show. Otherwise, it just wasn't going to be a great video. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on something bigger. All right. Thanks for participating in the network test. You're welcome. All right. So, actually, this is already different than uh, than what I played. So, uh, you're getting a blind playthrough now. So, what do you know? <laughs> it turns out it's blind. All right. So, I do want to show you guys this options thing. Though, so let's go to system. Oh no. Uh, that's gonna be normal. Alright, so uh, the thing I want to show is password matching for online. So, voice chat's restricted. You can turn on voice chat. Interesting. So, I, I don't think that was ever an option before. So, voice chat you can have on. What? That's pretty crazy for a Souls game. That's new, and then password matching, so you can actually match with someone through a password, just like Bloodborne, so that's the Bloodborne system. Uh, that was actually what I noticed that I wanted to show. Oh, wait, so my, uh, I'm Academy Assassin, and right now I'm in the high wall of Lothric. And that is where I'm at. Uh, I don't need to leave a message yet. I wonder if there's any hidden goodies that we can find out from that stuff. Bitch ahead. Since it's all four stars, it, I just think that he's trying to swear the whole time. It's actually shit ahead. Shit ahead, shit required ahead. I mean, <laughs> that's what I would say. I don't know if I love the fact that I have a spear as a weapon, honestly. But whatever. We'll play with it. Just trying to see if I could utilize that aspect or that, that button. Uh, let's see. Praise the sun. Oh, something that's... Oh, actually, let's, let's straighten them up. That is a fine just... Oh, uh, the way you do fine messages apparently is the same thing as Bloodborne. Speaking of which, uh, this is me pressing uh, options. This is me pressing right on the pad. This is left on the pad. I'm, I'm on the PS4. Uh, let's see what we got. We can praise the sun, obviously. Oh, we got a ghost already. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. So something that I need to talk about right off the bat, though, uh, is this shield. Oh, no. I don't get two shields. Oh, that's right. We find one later. Oh, apparently I can cast spells, too. Soul arrow, soul dart, soul great sword. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is new, too. All right. So check this out. Uh, you actually have an MP meter at the top, and that's new. You used to have spell usages, right? So, like, Soul Grey Sword would take some spell usages, and each of them have their own spell usages. Now you have a total MP meter, so that is totally new. Um, Torch, uh, does it? Does Looks like it does not have a timer. Let's go ahead and go through here. So, see that buckler that I have on the left, and how is the shield icon next to it? That's actually really important. So, it having the shield icon means that I can parry. And that is super, super important. And that's something, that's how the sword art mechanic works in this game. So that is totally new. And man, I'm so glad to be able to show it off gameplay footage, finally, of Dark Souls 3, by the way. 
because it was people were mad at me when I wasn't showing gameplay footage for my Dark Souls 3 videos when I was just kind of talking about it and I was just like because I didn't have anything I could use it just wasn't provided so it's nice to actually show it and like talk about the fact that it really does feel like Dark Souls 1. All right so this actually is what I played in the network test we just didn't start off in that room uh, so we got our first bonfire. Let's see, lighting it. Let's see if resting at it restores my MP. It does. Alright, so it will restore our MP. And we also have Ash Estus Flask now, which I believe is going to restore your MP, likely. Uh, Estus Flask, you're going to notice, will restore your HP pretty quick. It's actually almost as quick as Bloodborne. It's not quite as quick as Bloodborne, but it's almost as quick. We're not going to go this way yet. I think this, this, that direction is actually just a wraparound we're going to come to eventually. So we're going to start off by going to the left. And um, I'll talk about some of the things too, some of the problems I had with the network test that people were kind of mad at me about. But at least now I can finally like show you guys what it was that I was concerned about. And it's not like a problem per se, it's just a concern, you know? Like, um, it's I'm more of just worried because I want it to be good. And my one main concern with it... It's a legit concern, in my opinion. Alright, so there's the parrying, by the way, showing off that mechanic. Um, mainly, I want to show it off because, in my opinion, it feels... It really feels like, um... Like Dark Souls 1. There's doing some backstabs. Um... Yeah, it feels like Dark Souls 1 to me, with the parry timing, and also Bloodborne. So, I guess maybe that's where you can tell that Miyazaki was involved with it. Uh, looking at the environment here, though, we already have a bunch of interesting things. So we have these statues... Some of them without heads, looking like they're all kneeling and praying. And what are all these guys praying to? Like this guy here. Um, like a bunch of them are looking at these guys. Man, I wish I had binoculars. I miss my binoculars, man. I miss my binoculars. Um, but yeah, so some of them are looking at these guys right here. Um, which are like almost like, look. It's not like they're even necessarily um, strapped to a tree or something. It's, it's like they're part of the tree. Which is almost like Dark Souls 2, right? Where we have you have those enemies, who uh, you have the giants who become trees, and it's almost like these things are part tree, part uh, undead, or whatever creatures they are. I'm assuming they're undead. And here we have a dead dragon, so that's really interesting because the fact that there's a dead dragon there, um, and, and it looks like a stone dragon. And I think if I'm not mistaken, when I was at the presentation with Miyazaki, he referred to this as a stone dragon. I mean, definitely. Definitely a stone. Look at that face. That's that's made out of stone and crumbling away. But the stone dragons pretty much just existed during Dark Souls, like pre-Dark Souls 1, Age of the Ancients. So uh, even in Dark Souls 1, like the dragons we see, they're not, they're, they're a little different, right? So that right there is already pretty different. Okay, so see what that guy did there with the bell? The reason I ran to the one earlier to kill him immediately was because uh, they do that. They will summon and wake everybody up. Oh god, oh god, I was I was early. These guys swing pretty fast, apparently. Alright, let's just deal with them this way then. People are going to be like, Dave, you're targeting. What? What is this? Oh, something like... Oh, whoop. Okay, never mind. Don't let me do what I wanted to do. Got the shield. I just wanted to show off the fact that you can kick. And then you can get in the... Uh, Ah, I forget what that that specific move is called. Not a repose, but you know, like after you st you've stunned someone, you need an attack. There, there. That's all you need. Oh, let's look at the Estus Flask too, because I'm about to use it. So check this out. Estus Flask, chug. It goes up pretty high. Also, I'm getting hurt for a lot, so I don't know if I liked my choice. Maybe I should have chosen differently. Ah well. All right, there we go. Don't want this spear. Good thing there's other weapons I can eventually grab and get to. All right, we need to get away from this this jerk. Sick of your crap, man. Sick of it. Get out of here. All right. Parried you, and we're good. We are good to go. Let's see if there's any other environmental details that are interesting around here. You'll also start to see, uh, well, we'll see. I, I don't know if I actually noticed this area when I first played the network test, to be honest. So this area might be new for me. But Miyazaki said when he went when he was talking about Dark Souls three when I at E three and like I got to see his presentation which was so so cool. Uh, he said everything that you see, you're gonna be able to go to, uh, like every little nook and cranny and such you can go to, which is, seems insane when you look at something like this. Um, 
Like, that's just ridiculous, but... Here, here is my issue you're already going to see, is there's going to start to be a lot of things like this. Where I came up here, and sure, maybe this is a door they just don't happen to have open for the network test. And yes, all I got for the reward was a firebomb, because it's a network test and they're not going to give me all the real goodies. Because they don't want to give that stuff away and they change it up anyways. Like in the Dark Souls 2 beta, they changed up all the items that were there. But I just explored this whole area, and I don't feel like I got really much of a reward for it. It was just like, oh, you, you explored it. That's cool. I hope you enjoyed exploring. Like, there's really not much here. Unless there is down there. Oh, what could be down there? We have to explore that. But, before we explore that, let's walk up this dragon's tail. Come on. Come on. No! <laughs> I need to get up! It's so important. Uh, okay. Maybe you're... Uh, uh, uh. Okay. One more time. One more time. We're, we're testers now. No! Alright, I'm gonna try down here, even though it seems like a bad idea. Okay. Okay, yep, bad idea. No, actually, good idea. Some fire bombs. So, hopefully, during the actual game, that will be an uh, item that you'll be like, wow, I'm so glad I did that and explored. But obviously, for now, it doesn't feel that rewarding. But I do like that type of stuff, right? So, like, when they have little walk offs like that and drop offs that make it. The, the areas seem more interesting. I like that a lot. It's just the fact that I went up to that whole spot, and there's going to be more areas just like that, where, yeah, they make the world feel bigger, but there's not really much reason to it, or reason behind it, it feels like. Alright. I should probably start using magic a little more. I'm not much of a magic user, but since I have, I have it, and I'm doing this thing, and playing this character who seems to be a magic user... Maybe I should do it. Maybe I should utilize that magic. Hey, buddy. I can't shoot you through the, the cell. That's no fun. Let's uh, let's check some the ladder mechanics while we're here. All right, so you can slide down. Can you? You cannot run up ladders anymore unless it's a functionality I don't know. Let's see, you can punch up a ladder. You can kick down a ladder, but it would seem you cannot hold B and actually get up a ladder. Holding B. And down will slide you down, which is similar to Dark Souls 2, I think. Double tapping B. I'm saying B, I mean circle. Um, when I double tap circle, it's going to drop me. Let's actually see what's up there in this little drop. Uh, it looks like nothing, but I'm going to check it out anyways. No, you can't be nothing. You got to be something. It's nothing. Whatever. I had to test it out. It was important. Oh, here we have something new, too. So, offer flame. Grave of a Nameless Retainer raised his sword for the Lord of Cinders. So these give you like little lore notes here, and this is new. It's it's almost reminiscent to me of Bloodborne, where you get those notes that give you some lore and some story. Except for this might have more to it, since you are kind of activating something when you do it. Uh, Grave of a Nameless Retainer raised his sword for the Lord of Cinder. So we're getting a Lord of Cinder from... Interviewing Miyazaki at E3, he said there were multiple Lords of Cinder, because my first instinct was, Lord of Cinder, would you happen to meet in a certain Gwyn by chance? And, uh, yeah, there's no there's no answer for that. Oh, so I guess this is our little menu we're given for the moment. So I can do White Sun, Soapstone, or Red Eye Orb, uh, so we can invade and we can summon people, and then we can use a Dry Finger, Black Separation to leave. Um, other thing that I just picked up, so that great sword is automatically going to be equipped. So if I go right, it's just an auto thing. Um, so you guys know. Uh, that's just for the network test, so I can't actually look at item descriptions as far as I can tell. Yeah, I can't. So they have that functionality turned off. Alright, so typically you would be the type of guy that I would kick, but you're a little more aggressive it seems like. Alright, let's see. Hurt him pretty well. I, I mean, they might just make it so everyone can, so you don't have to worry so much about your stats. Alright, so you see this area. Uh, one of the things Miyazaki wanted to show off during the... the When he was showing it off at E3 was, Hey, look, but up here is a dragon, so... Uh, why don't you use that dragon to your advantage to kill all of the things? And then be like, well... They killed the stuff up there, but I'm still kind of screwed down here. But now the dragon kind of notices you, and it will sweep down there to try to get you. And, um... Yeah, so you can try to utilize him to to an extent. 
Uh, something I tried doing, and I can do it again, is running up there to get a shortcut. And this is part of where I was talking about uh, being a little annoyed. Um, which I'll show you guys. Let me let me try to decide which route I want to take first. Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I shouldn't... No, 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 no! Oh, that was a bad choice. That was a really bad choice. Ow! Shoot. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Mm, I know... I've, I made it up there before. I just have to figure out when to actually run. Alright. Uh, let's see. I know you can. I know you can. Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. Alright, we did it. Alright. So, uh, we got up here. And I really want to show off this area. Uh, just to kind of show off kind of, I guess, one of my qualms, right? So you feel like you did something really cool by doing this. This isn't something you really have to do by any means. And maybe the item you get here is going to be an awesome reward. But um, let's go down here first and just kind of explore this whole little area before I go into it too much. Oh, these guys are really hard, by the way. You'll probably see that. Shoot. Alright, come on. Come on. It's actually hard for me to read him right now. I don't know why. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. That's cool. I might want to just go save it first. Save it. I mean, use a bonfire. Uh, Alright, let's try this. Can I? Nope. Success! Oh, come on! That felt like the right timing. Alright, this is not good. Let's, uh, let's maybe switch to magic, I guess, and see what I can do with that. Not something I typically use, but... When in Rome, Soul Arrow did not do anything. What? Soul Arrow. All right, Soul Dart. W what is going on right now? Soul Dart. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, hmm. Well, that's that's uh, no good. All right, let's. See if I can remember the jump button. I could not. Actually, screw it. We're over here. Let's get this chest. And it is a divine blessing. So maybe this will make the whole thing worth it, right? And I, I don't know. So I just simply do not know. All right. So one thing about these guys is they will try to punish you for going behind them. Oh. Uh, that's, I think, a good thing to note. And yeah, they are pretty tough for me because I'm not used to how to fight them. He's got a spear too. We're both spear bros. Come on, you, we don't need to fight. We really, we don't need to fight, bro. We, you have a spear, I have a spear. We're like kin. We are like kin. All right, so this door right here is locked from the other side if you come from the other side. And what's right down there? Um, if we go down this way... This you'll notice is this is that pathway where the dragon was blowing fire at us. So, like you basically normally, maybe I should have shown it this way, but normally you would run up here and be like, "Hey, cool, there's a door over here, and this is locked from the other side." So you're really curious, and you're like, "Man, what could be over on that other side? I really want to know." And then you go over there, and I don't know. It just doesn't. It just doesn't feel like much of a reward. And again, that could just be the case of. They're gonna put an item there. Or there's gonna be something in that chest that'll make you feel like I'm so glad I did this But they didn't do that. So Yeah Get away. I'm trying to rest in my bonfire, man. I'm trying to cheap the system because I know the map already Because if I didn't I would have just tried to kill those guys and Probably not done too well because I don't I don't think I'm as good with this character as the other character if I'm being perfectly honest I miss my swords. Alright, so up here, like, this is another thing when I was talking about uh, blocked off paths. There's a lot of this where there's crumpled staircases that, maybe not a lot of it, but there's more of that that you'll see. Where you get to an area that looks like it's going to be really cool and interesting, and then it's blocked off with that, which is fine. It just seemed to be a theme of it. It was constant. It was consistent. There we go. Now I got my parry. After the shield block thing, um, if you do try to strafe around these guys, they're, they are pretty good about um, trying like knocking you away with their shield. There I got him, but they are pretty good about it. I do want to go kill that spear guy now that now that I have a 
you know what? I also should probably two-hand if I'm not going to try to parry him. That would make sense, huh? Alright. You and I need to have a talk. Oh, now I just bugged him and bothered him. He's like, why did you do that? I was just staring at a wall, spacing off. And then you go and do that crap to me? Alright, well, now that I don't care, he's of course he's easy. You just gotta don't care. You just gotta not care. Well, that was anticlimactic, but it had to be done. Wait, let me let me explore down here a little bit more since we have the time. All right, the other thing I can do while I'm up here, I guess I should check to see if I should, could level up at the bonfire, even though I doubt it. Um, all right, let's see. I think the dragon's gonna show up and burn everything, which I want to show because I want to show what's over here too, because that's the other reason why like maybe you would come up here, right? You're like, okay, well, I feel so proud. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. You're like, I feel so proud because I got myself up here, and that's really cool. And I'm burning myself on fire, and I'm going to die. Okay, I, I, somehow I survived when I should not have, but I did. Okay, so. 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 You get this thing, and it's a bunch of firebombs. And there's no nowhere else to go up here. Like, that's, that's it. So, when, when I was talking about it being kind of... And, like these block offs and such it's like going up in this path I, I guess I just didn't feel like I got much out of it so that's um that's kind of why I wanted to show that off and talk about it where uh like other than that I think I think the gameplay feels great and you see already that there's those night enemies who are pretty reminiscent of the t the knights from uh, Boletaria from Demon Souls at least in my opinion, I think it's pretty reminiscent, and I like that, because it's hard, and they were challenging in Demon's Souls, so that's definitely a big plus. And gameplay-wise, it feels great, but I'm trying to be fair about the game and point out both the pros and the cons, so all this level design stuff could be fine, you know? A as I've talked about multiple times, if they add item, you know, you it's okay, you can survive. It's okay, buddy. I will pray for you. I hope things get better for your life. But yeah, anyways, all those things can get fixed. If they put some items there that make it worthwhile, where you feel really rewarded, then maybe it's going to be fine. It's just, I didn't really notice this stuff when I played. I played the Dark Souls 2, I played multiple betas for the Dark Souls 2. I played one at E3, and then I played the uh, network test. And then for Dark Souls 3, or Dark Souls 3, then for Bloodborne, I played I play the beta network test type of thing, so... Um, for all that, I didn't really notice this, what I've kind of been calling redundant pathing, in a sense. sense. This, that specific route right there is what I was referring to as redundant pathing, since those two routes lead to the exact same thing, and you don't really get any sort of incentive for going either way, per se. So that, that was specifically what I was referring to as redundant pathing. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to... Sorry if I'm sounding too negative. I, I don't mean to. I am very excited, and actually, I was more impressed with this than I thought I would be. I was I was honestly a little skeptical when I first came in to play, or see Dark Souls 3 at E3. Because I sort of felt like, I don't want this to be the next Call of Duty, where there's just going to be another game every year, and they're going to have the A and B team take turns and switch off playing it. Like, I just didn't want to see that. And I'm actually impressed with the way this feels. I, I think it feels great. I've been having fun playing this this area, at least when I played it at the, uh, the event I was at. And then playing it again, um... And then playing it again at PAX Prime. So I, I've honestly been impressed. So overall, it's good notes. I'm just pointing out everything. So enough apologizing, let's talk about the fact that there's another stone dragon, that one was alive over there. So are, is this like, what time and era does this take place? In the Dark Souls 3 cinematic trailer, they show the giant lord from Dark Souls 2. And that makes it seem like it, maybe it takes place during, um, maybe it takes place after Dark Souls 2. So that is a really important question, I think, is to try to figure out when this takes place. Another thing that we're about to see right here is another interesting thing to think about for when it takes place that we're going to see 
Hey, dragon, I'm sorry that you're dead, other than the fact that you'd be trying to kill me if you weren't. Alright, so check out this, right? These guys are all praying over here, it looks like, to something. What are you guys, what are you guys doing? What are you guys, what are you guys doing? Oh! Oh, okay! Okay! Oh! 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 That's a thing! Sold art! Work! Actually, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so anyways, this is a thing, and um, yeah. So it's like, it's very abyss looking, isn't it? And that's that's why I wanted to point this out. Wow, that gray sword does good damage on this. Um, but yeah, I wanted to point out just how abyss looking this, this little creature is right here. Well, I, I think little is the wrong word. This big, giant, massive blob thing. Looks so straight out of the abyss. Divine blessing. Why, thank you. Bless me. Appreciate it. Me. I'm going to have to play through a little bit more after I finish everything here so I can show off the uh, some of the sword art stuff because I can't do it yet. Sorry. I didn't know I wouldn't be able to do sword arts with this build I chose. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to talk about this too. This scimitar. But yeah, it's just the abyss thing. So there seems to be an abyss factor in this game because that looks, to me, I don't know about you guys, but that looks straight up abyss to me. So I I think there's a large element of the abyss in uh, Dark Souls 3 to the point where you have to wonder if maybe you're in the Age of Dark this time around as opposed to the Age of Fire and it's actually a cycle coming from the Age of Dark. Hey, what do you know? It's a blood stain. Oh, uh, well, okay. Well, at least he taught me not to jump off there. We get some alluring skulls. Classic. Classic souls. Alluring skulls. Alright, so... If you want to... There is a shortcut in a sense here where you can just roll off there if you're just trying to run to the boss. Found that one out when I was <laughs> first time playing. I also found out... Figured out like what I think is probably the easy way to beat the boss, but I'll find out here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. I did not notice you. So, dual scimitars here is also worth talking about because of the fact that it's a right-handed weapon, but as you can see, it's, it's too, it goes into your right and left hand. Unlike Dark Souls 2, where you could, you know, you would equip two different scimitars, one in each hand. This time around, this is one right-handed weapon, and then I press uh, Y or triangle, and I can switch to my shield. But the alternate of this mode is having one in each hand. Uh, let's see, L1 is going to be swinging both blades, so apparently L1 is that. This is L2, this is R2, this is R1, so you guys know the moveset. That's forward and R2, that's forward and L2, it seems to not do anything. So I still wanted to test it out. What's down here? Uh, actually, that looks like something worth exploring at some point. Nothing for me up here yet. I don't know if I've actually explored that spot. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so... My first time playing, I actually didn't notice this spot somehow. Heh <laughs> Oh, I should have tried to switch to the duel and seen how well that worked. Alright, let's... These guys are the guys who are good about if you're circling around, they'll shield bash you a lot. That's why I want to just take them out real quick. These guys right here... This area is actually also important to explore for this beta specifically as I will show you guys why. There's a special spot that this will help lead to. Don't know if it'll be the final game version because who knows where they're gonna move things around, but this is pretty important. So this is actually the way away from the boss that I'm going to. You know, this is a weird video for, in a sense for me because usually I stick to one weapon and I don't switch up too much and I'm actually switching weapons. You guys should be proud of me for that. I'm proud of myself. Alright, I'm going to probably have to utilize fire bombs here, actually. Got 23. Might as well. Also, the gold pine resin. I'll have to utilize that, because I don't want to have to run back again. Until it's time. Until it's time. Obviously important to pick up all of the things and explore all the things. I think this is also a good time to talk about uh, my schedule, too, and my upload schedule, and kind of what's been going on. Because I've talked about this when I stream, but... You know, I, I do get more viewers when I do soul stuff, so, um, why I haven't been uploading as much recently while I'm exploring here. 
he got me. He got me. Well, he, I kind of didn't get me. I didn't notice and go to check if, if there was anything in this room. I just didn't get away in time. But, um, yeah, so basically, for about a year, I was doing YouTube full-time and freelancing on the side to help make ends meet because you just... You don't make as much money on YouTube as people think. And just doing YouTube alone full-time, I wouldn't have been able to pay my rent and eat food. So I was also freelancing on top of that. So, which is why every so often I would just be so busy that, like, uploads would slow down. Uh, recently, though, I got a full-time... Uh, as Like, a few months ago, I got a full-time job at Polaris. The network Polaris, which is great. And I'm actually really happy. I, I like the job there. And I'm trying to do YouTube as much as I can. Like, literally... Every day when I come home, I work on videos. Um, every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, I'm working on videos. But a lot of my content is really highly edited. Um, it just takes a long, long time to make the type of content that I put on my channel. Unless I'm doing a Let's Play like this. But a lot of it just takes a long time to make. So, I, I am legitimately basically working two full-time jobs. Because most of my YouTube content I put up is all editing. And it's not fun, to, at least to me. I don't like editing at all. I actually really dislike editing. But I want my videos to be good, and I, I really do want them to have a quality to them. So it's something that I'm willing to put the time into because I, I want to be happy with the content that I put on my channel. But, um, you know, it is work, it, and it takes a lot of time. So that's why content's been a little bit slower. Um... So, yeah, I mean, like, that that's it. I mean, like, hopefully, I don't... Ooh! Oh, man. Oh, man. I didn't know he was going to have such a, like, slow, delayed swing. All right. Do I want to risk it? Nah. I mean, I kind of did want to go for the parry, but I do also want to... <gasps> okay, apparently he can poise through things. Oh, oh, man. Okay. Okay, okay. There's probably more, I bet. So, <laughs> let's go upstairs. Let us go upstairs and let me grab my firebombs. Because I just, I don't want to have to come back here. Or I don't want to have to go to the bonfire. Is essentially what I'm saying. Are you joking me? No, I was supposed to be faster than you. <gasps> no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out. Oh, no. Uh, oh, wait. You know what I just realized is I didn't use my Ash Estes flask. Alright, it does exactly what I thought. Let's find out if it heals, uh, goes back up after a while. Actually, Divine Blessing, that heals you, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and use that. Let's, uh, let's use that. That'll be good. Alright, back to firebombs for now. Uh, I don't like needing to use firebombs. I really don't, but I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. I don't want to have to go all the way back. Oh, no! Dog caught me off guard. Good thing I used that divine and uh, divine blessing. Oh, come on! How how was that a hit? What is your hit? What is my hitbox? What is my hitbox? I ask. Oh no! 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 Not actually a good idea against. Oh, okay. Now it's a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. Oh, I think if I remember, they were trying to show off about like how it's kind of a lob of a throw. Uh, it's it actually the the throw of the firebomb is different than Dark Souls 2. I think it's back to how Dark Souls 1 threw firebombs, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, the dungeon cell key. This is what I was looking for. That is what I wanted to get. So that is why we came all the way down here. To this location. And, yeah, that's it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I, I want to explore other things, but I also don't. Because, okay, 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 okay. Well, I mean, this guy's timing is a little bit easier to me. You're slow. Have fun having firebombs lobbed at you from up above. Hey, look, it's like I'm one of the enemies in Dark Souls. Oh, my God. I'm one of the annoying firebomb-tossing enemies. It's like a dream come true, but not at all. Because I never wanted to be a firebomb-tossing annoying enemy. Alright. Is there anything here? Well, lots of breakables. Oh, there we go. I knew I saw something glowing. Actually, I haven't tested out the throwing knives yet. I should probably switch to that just so we can 
Short off. And the ember, I have no idea what that is, so I definitely need to use that. It might just be, like, a pine resin type of thing, for all I know. Uh, okay, so this ended up not being much of anything, except that we can take a nice good look at this guy. Actually, uh, not that bad, I don't think, that guy. Oh, we can also, also shortcut to him, apparently, from here. Wait a second, wait a second. Is this a short... Yeah, we can just drop down to him if we want. Not going to, though. And I will instead go back up here. Which was the way I... Wait, how do I get over there? I don't think I ever figured that out when I was playing last time. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can jump to it. I think you have to fall to it. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely would not be able to jump to it. I'll have to figure out a way to fall to it. Alright. Gotta keep that one in mind. That's for sure. I think for once, this might actually end up being a two-part Let's Play. With me, I'm looking at the time right now. I... Oh, cool. Awesome. Actually, I, I like this. This is cool. Anything like this, I'm a fan of. Where they totally blocked off the entrance, but by paying attention to the environment, you're able to be like, Oh, there's there's got to be a path over here. And there was. And we get another ember. Alright, what does it do? Let's just find out right now. Uh, Ember restored. Oh, it's like humanity. I think. So, that would seem to be humanity. What? Alright, well, it looks like that's our new humanity, as it would, I would assume. So, that's uh, interesting that we're Ember restored instead of humanity restored. Wonder what sort of implications that could have to the lore, because that's uh, so very, very different. And we're now also kind of on fire. That's, that's also weird, like... Why are we... I know you You kind of, like, they showed off a mechanic where you start bonfires. And it was always chosen, un, like, undead who made bonfires by the lore, but... Huh. This is really interesting. The fact that you light yourself with an ember, but you're okay. And it's actually, like, a good thing. I guess you do drink out of an Estus flask, which is from a bonfire, so... It is, like, first flame that's healing you, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's an even better first flame, maybe. Maybe. I think this is... I tried here, if I... I think... Yeah, I did. Uh, I guess, like, this would be another example, though, of a room where I don't think there was anything in there that was worthwhile. Now, outside of that, the, the pathing does... is interesting. So, it is an interesting pathing, it's just... You know, I, I have concerns. I only want the best for my souls. I only want the best. Alright, so what we're going to do here at this point... Oh, look! Look at my status on the top left. You can see it looks like a ember. Uh, where the humanity would be. The humanity counter at the top left. In the hood. So... Now, we can go to the quote-unquote hidden boss. I don't know if that's like a fair title to give it, because it's not really a boss per se. It's just a... Uh, difficult enemy. I think Greatsword might be the best way to play him. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and light my bonfire first. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I do need to heal, so... You know what, before I do, though, before I do, before I go light the bonfire, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring, because I want to be able to have full health against the boss. Uh, I, I guess if I get hurt, I can use the Divine Blessing. Alright, let's go for Soul Arrow. And let's soul arrow you. Yep. Yes. Ha! Got just out of range. Because I'm spamming that magic. Alright, so dungeon cell key I got is for this right here, which I'll go ahead and open so we don't have to worry about it later. Uh, but I am going to get my Estus Flask back before I really take care of that. But, okay, so this is another area too where I was kind of talking about, um, I don't know, just the whole pathing thing, so... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, there's gonna be a guy with the bell. Where is he? Where is the guy with the bell? Let's see if I can sneak up. That, oh. I, I looked over here and I didn't see him. I, I looked, I did not see, okay. Get, get me out of here. You know what, actually, spear might have come in handy right now. 
might actually have come in handy. Because I can keep them at a distance, at least. Yeah, those guys are going to be dangerous. Hey, we got more firebomb. What, what do you know? Oh, 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 roll away. Roll away. Don't have any Estus, and I don't want to use my last Divine Blessing. Even though I don't think I'm going to need it later, but you never know. Man, it's too bad I can't be showing you guys sword arts right now. That's, that's a huge shame. But I will. I'll get to it once I get a shield that can do it. That So it's all based off of your shield. Actually, wait a second. Can I do it like this? No, I can't. Um, yeah, it's all based on the icon. So again, that shield having a shield icon underneath it is what was important there. Alright, so if we go through these guys, um... We're gonna get to an alluring skull and what looks like a door, but there's nothing there. So let's keep on going further down. And we go all the way further down and we get another ember, which is actually really good firebombs, but then again, a blocked off path with nothing else really to it. So, uh, that, that looks a lot like the other ones. So I guess like this, this is what I meant. And this is what I was running into is like a decent amount of these. And maybe I'm overblowing it. It's just something that I noticed when I was playing where I was sort of surprised because especially before I knew how to get to the boss, I kept on going to these alternate paths and kind of being a little disappointed. That I worked so hard to go through something and then getting nothing out of it. But that's also, again, could just be a case of there's no item there to reward you. And once that's in place, you'll feel totally good about it and be like, I feel good about myself and I got all these souls so I can go level up and life is good. So, okay, something that you can see here too uh, that they're keep keeping with that they've done, that they do, this is something that From Software does, is notice how there's a light right by the lantern and just a little lantern, lantern that helps guide where you need to go to. Um, that's something, and then there's another one right up here, and it's really subtle, but it's something that From Software has done on the Souls games to make it so you, it, like, it attracts your eye, and you're gonna be able to find that ladder right away and know where you need to go, which is a nice aspect. And then, obviously, the heating area, the heating, the heating areas that they want to have heating, uh, can be hidden. All right, looks like I can't level up. No surprise there, just, just thought I'd try it. And I'm probably going to go die. So, <laughs> wish me luck. And I hope I don't die. But we'll see what happens. Alright, so let's just go fast. And let's keep going fast. I actually don't know the best way to go down here. I think, yep, ladder was the way. Alright. And let's, let's do this thing. Welcome to the frost giant, I think. Frost enemy. So hidden boss. And I've got my... My flames, we're we're just hating each other. See all these dead soldiers here. That's a that's a good sign. And here you have uh, what it's all about. Why these guys are all dead? Oh no! Oh no! Oh wow! I actually stunned him. So this guy, he is pretty tough. I gotta say. And also notice how he has this frost status. That's uh, that's a new status that you can get hurt by. Oh, oh, okay, 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 shoot. I got... I, I'm, I'm wondering if it's... You have less defense with this build or not. I got I got rocked. I actually think uh, that great sword is a bad... Great. That great sword is a bad idea for me. It might be too slow for what I'm used to. I just need to, just need to dodge better. I just need to dodge better. I had comments on testing out the loading times. Actually, that was really quick, but since it's a downloaded demo, can't get much out of it. Wow! Okay, that you have a lot more health with that ember. Way, way more health. That is important. That is really worth noting. Alright, get out of here. Where do I go now? Going this way. Oh no, I forgot to be smart about it. Just in case I died. Hey, guy. What you gonna do? What you gonna... What you... Oh. Um. Ow! Goodbye, sir. Dang. I got rocked. Out. Oh. Get out of my house. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just lost everything. 
Well, I'll see you guys in a moment. I did it! Alright, we are heading back down. I think the reason I chose this guy is just because I liked his mask that he's wearing. Hopefully they won't cut this one out. What if there's something down there? It does not look like there is. Alright, Frost Knights. Let's do this thing again. And have it go just as well. Oh! Oh man, that caught me off guard. All right, just gotta get his move set down. Just gotta get his move set down. Double attacks, it looks like. And he swings when he turns. That's one of the things that he can do. I thought he was gonna go for a doubling there. Whoops, that was close. I don't do any damage to him at all. Trying to change my weapon. Did not work. Ugh. Crap, crap, no! Oh no, no! Ah! That sucks so much, there's too much stuff in my inventory and I want to take it out! Oh, oh the combo! Yeah, I figured that would be my death. Well look, it's the bane of my existence right now. A frost giant thing. I mean... That's not right. It's not a giant. It's just a frost enemy. I mean, he's pretty big. But, yeah, he kind of reminds me of Artorius a bit. Uh, Abyssatorius, you know, specifically in the way that he's crawling around. So another thing that, to me, is reminiscent of you know, abyssiness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Things were going so well. I kind of, like, I'm thinking screw it on that uh, healing with the Estus. It's like... Clearly it's not working for me. I should just take him out for real. And stop worrying about it. Yeah, now they stop worrying about the Estus, it took him out first try. Alright. Recover lost souls. Oh, he has he drops an item. An ember. Thanks! I think I used more against him. Way more than that, so. I actually took him out way quicker when I played at PAX Prime. I'm a little embarrassed how many tries that took, but it was definitely difficult. <gasps> hey, look! Look at that goop on the ground by this, like, legs here. That's the abyss goop that we see around Artorius. Speaking of Artorius connections, like, see that goop that I'm walking over right now? You see that You see that exact goop in Artorius' chamber in the, uh... In the DLC, Artorius of the Abyss, so... Uh, maybe we do have a connection right there with the Abyss and this creature kind of seeming Ar Artorias-ish. There is this. This is So we get another Offer Flame thing, so we do get a little bit more lore for this. Died in solitude. May his soul find its way back to the Frigid Valley. You'd have to assume that that's this enemy. And I, I am wondering if these uh, the Frigid Valley is the Abyss or some something related to the Abyss. All right, we got some gold pine resin. I, I thought about it more, and I think I'm going to try to do all this in one big let's play, like maybe an hour and a half let's play. I don't know. We'll see how long it is, but um, I think it'll be... I don't know. I, I just want to have one long cohesive let's play of the beta. I suppose I broke up parts and pieces. Man, he really tore things up. Those are all me. That's, that's what this is. It's all just pieces of me after how many tries that took. And, like, I was having trouble toggling, because there's I usually only keep three or four items down here. So just trying to toggle and get to what I wanted to use was driving me nuts. Because I just like to play to, to the point where I can just press it and I'm done. I'm like, I know exactly what I want to use, and I just use it real quick. So, that's how I like to manage my inventory. So I don't have to think about it too much. Like, a lot of times, I only have three things down there. Because I also play a lot of times with no HUD. Specifically, uh... Because that way I can do that type of thing. Alright, so... I believe... Oh. Oh. Oh! Of course. <laughs> I did so well! I killed the... Frigid Valley Frost Warrior, and then I just died to one of the normal enemies. It is Dark Souls. 
and that's what happens. That is how the game works. But, whatever, it's gonna start me right at the bonfire anyways. He, uh, he didn't do too much, take too much time off. So, and I didn't use an ember, but... Thing we're going to try to do here now is go to the boss. Uh, I think there's a shortcut down there that we're going to try to open up. A lot of this stuff now is pretty just skippable. So, uh, I'll show that too. So, like, if you want to just run to the boss, you just be like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need this ladder. Ladders are chumps. And then run over here. You can even, like, try to jump over to this thing, which clearly did not work for me, but you can try to do that. Oh, hi. Okay, this guy you can uh, you can get around and backstab. By the way, so you can't get a backstab in, and that that is a pointy thing right where you don't want it. I mean, unless you do want it, I guess. Well, I'm not sure what he was doing there, but I was just like, I don't I don't need to find out. Let's just let's just say screw it. <laughs> let's just say screw it and not find out. So I know apparently the window for backstabs is a little bit smaller, apparently, but you can see I wasn't having any issues backstabbing myself. This is from like Ty and other people who were playing it with me when uh, when I got to play at San Francisco. Let's destroy all these suits of armor, because that's what I do, I just destroy things. So if you remember, this was the area that we were looking down at before, um, so this is like when we saw the big, big guy roaming around, that was that big guy. And let's just destroy all the suits of armor. Oh, you're not a... Uh-oh. Forgot I wasn't targeting. Also, I usually have a sword, and the backswing on the sword would have hit the guy anyways. Uh, any items over here? Does not look to be the case. Sometimes I get complaints from people who watch my beta Let's Plays that I talk too much. But to me, that's the entire point of a Let's Play. Otherwise, you could just watch a long play with no commentary. That's that's what I do. I I personally find it. This is just I just remember this, but I I personally find it boring if somebody's not talking during their let's play. To me, that's like the whole reason I'm watching a let's play is for the commentary. Um, I th I think that's the point. So that's my opinion on the matter, and that's why I talk a lot during my let's plays. If anyone's uh, cares. Okay, so up there is the ladder I could have gone down before. Um. That's where the arrow guys were shooting me, and the ladder just leaves the right here, as opposed to me rolling off. Also, that looks like that big fat knight that I just fought, except this one with tons of swords stuck in him. He's like Guts from Berserk. Speaking of which, there's a sword art that's very Guts from Berserk-esque, -esque, but uh, I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it. Alright, so there's a couple different ways we can go here. We could go right to the Frigid Valley boss, which is right over there. Uh, let's go ahead and explore up here first, though. I don't think there's anything down there. No. No, there is not. And we should also be able to get a shortcut. Oh, hi. Did not know you were going to be there. Let's go ahead and get a backstab. Wow, I think you can charge that thing up. No! <laughs> I didn't know when it would actually swing. I didn't know what the timing of it was. I actually wasted a lot of Estus flasks at this point. Uh, Alright. Anything? Oh, here we go. So there's this. Cool. Some more gold pine resin. Cannot wait to find out what these are really supposed to be because all I've been doing is getting the same crap over and over again. Cannot wait. So, I guess that's what this little wraparound balcony is actually for. I'd assume. Anything else? Anything else of interest? Does not look to be the case. Alright, let's go this way. So, yeah, part of the reason that I don't always do blind let's plays is specifically because I feel like I can provide more insightful commentary if I've played the game. Otherwise, like, a blind playthrough... I mean, there's definitely a funness to a blind playthrough, right? Because then you get to be surprised with the person who's playing it. But, um... I don't know. I, I like... I, I feel like I can be more insightful and dispense good information. Well, that was awful. I always get depressed when I miss the parry. It, it legitimately depresses me. I'm just like, oh me. I can't believe I missed that. Okay, well, at least these guys... Stop it! Stop with the kicking! 
I didn't think I was tapping. I mean, I clearly was. I don't blame the game. It was definitely me just playing wrong, but... Playing poorly, if you would. If you will. And... Alright, so here is a shortcut. And this is that first... Well... I actually, I think the other way is a little bit shorter, to be honest. But this is, uh... That way, at the very beginning of the level, when I didn't want to go a certain path, that's what this is going to be leading us to. And actually, I didn't find this when I played the network test. I knew it existed, because after talking to everyone, they talked about it existing. But I actually didn't find it, so, uh... I knew about it. Didn't find it. But, yeah, now we can... Check out this area. Also, I was getting destroyed my first time coming here because I was using the type of shield that doesn't parry and I couldn't understand for the life of me why parrying wasn't working. Oh no, oh no. I was early. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Yoko, oh no. Alright, what do I want to do now? You know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the level. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast cut it. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, I'm back at the first bonfire, uh, you know what I noticed is, I was playing really well up until I got to that frost enemy, and then I just, my play just turned to crap, so I blame him for everything. Everything, it was just, it's all his fault. I mean, like, if it wasn't for, for him, I'd be, just be doing fantastic the whole time. And making really dumb mistakes, like, missing a, who was that guy? Oh, there he was. Missing people like this! No. Bad. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like I said, I don't know if this is actually a shortcut compared to the route I usually take, but to get to the the actual boss. But I, I wanted to show it anyway since I didn't go this route before. So that's uh that's why I wanted to go this way. Alright, and hey! Run right through me, yes please. Alright, let's see how it is for him trying to wrap around him like a jerk. Oh, hey! Ah, I'm so used to swords. Clearly I should be targeting, clearly. If I tap, oh, so it really is a charge attack. I think that's actually true of every weapon if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so that's gonna be a swing, but I think you can charge it. You can charge it, okay. So yeah, R2s are just all charges now. Uh, so I'd forgotten about that. No. Oh, God! Hi! This is a good time to try to parry him, though. Or is it? I'm, like, going the safe route, even though I really I do want to parry him, but I also... Alright, let's try to get it. Okay, I don't know, because that felt like the right timing on that one. I'm assuming you can. Alright, let's, let's try again. Let's try again. There we go. Gotta parry everything, it's super important. I find that to be one of the most satisfying functions in the game, if not the most satisfying function. I think it's part of why I tend to prefer, well I do, I prefer Dark Souls 1, but I think that's one of the reasons, is just because I like the way parrying feels in it. Alright, uh, so, uh, here's another one of those areas I was talking about where, oh there's a lot of enemies here, where it's a blocked off path up here, there's really not much to it. But it's just another path you can go to because it exists, but there's really not much. It's like, okay, it exists. I guess that's cool. I guess. Let's go back to my spear. Just to... Just to be smart. Wow, he walked forward way more than I thought he would. I think I'm gonna have to go back to the bonfire after this. Oh god! I'm disappointed in myself, I gotta say. Come on, I just want to deal with one of them at a time. There. Got what I wanted, just had to wait a bit and stop being so greedy. It's the story of souls, my friends. That greed destroys. I mean, really, what if that's the overarching message of souls? It's really just supposed to be about greed, because if you're greedy when you fight bosses, that's when you really start to lose. I, that's it. That's the key. That's what they were trying to show the whole time. So really what's about you can run on those statues heads That is good information to know All right, so we run up here and We look out at the lookout point where there's so much to see 
Somebody put a uh, giant tower at my lookup lookout point. Not happy about that. Let's see, back here is nada. Up here is another broken off uh, area. That I mean, you know, maybe they, it's something that they'll fix. Try sadness. I am so sad. We got some gold pine resin. This is also nothing. Illusions ahead, really? I don't. I really don't believe them. But might as well try. I kind of doubt that there's any in the beta test, but it is worth testing and trying. Alright, yeah, I didn't think so. Did not think so. Watch, I'm going to find out after posting this that there is indeed some crazy cool illusion that I missed. Alright, nothing there. Just in case, just in case, let's try over here, even though I highly doubt it. But might as well try it. Then I'd be blown away. I'd be like, oh, I, that is awesome. I'm excited about this path now. So with zero S's flasks, I think it's probably a good time to go back to the bonfire. But I do want to show that this is the staircase that's going to lead to our uh, way back down. So that's how we're going to do it. Uh, just for the sake of time, uh, I was going to fast cut it. I just want this to be no longer than an hour and a half. That's really my goal. So I'm like, I'm going to fast cut it. No, I guess not because this is so, so quick to get to this bonfire. I shouldn't rush it, but I don't want it to be too long of a video. All right, so then we can quickly go down this way. And oh, maybe this way, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this way is faster. I just, I don't like, something about waiting for elevators, I just don't like when I have to do that to get somewhere. I'm like, no, I just want to keep being on the move. I gotta go fast. That guy's out of the equation. I mean, when we're really just doing a speed run to the boss, we would just ignore him completely. Oh god. Oh god. Forgot that there were masses there. Again, other things we would just ignore completely, but I think it's pertinent to try and explore all of this, and I don't want to have enemies creeping up on me from behind. Alright, so let's continue on our path of destruction. And sadness. So we got a bunch of these guys now. Ha! First try, first attempt. How does that feel? Because I thought it felt pretty good. Oh, there's his shield bash that he likes to do. Really, really good. Really, really good. Oh God! Oh, whoa! That was my L2. Holy crap! That was awesome. So I was trying to parry him, and I pressed L2 to parry, but I forgot I was two-handing. And uh, apparently you do that. Nice number on him. Oh, man. I keep on... Man, I am getting destroyed. I am getting utterly destroyed. So, I actually... It was really cool to find that out, that it worked like a lance, but in the end, it was for the worst by far. Okay. I'm going to go cheap here. Okay, apparently not. I was joking about it. I just want to get it hidden. I just... I'm playing so sloppy because I just want to hit in so bad. Get... Stop it. Oh my god. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so I want to switch to my shield and not get stuck on things. So you know what I just noticed about my character is that the hat he's wearing is really similar to the Bloodborne hats. Got it. Got you. And hopefully I can actually get this in. A couple hits. There we go. Alright. Nope. Now I can deal with your friend by himself. Although I had the wrong thing equipped because I want to heal. Nope. Nope. I'm so bad at parrying spears. So, wait. Last time I just, like, rolled through him and was just, like, did not care about anything other than just rolling through him being a jerk, so... Maybe that's the way to do it. Be a jerk and roll through everything. Alright. Let's go. Let's leave myself a little more room. That, that swing bag is really not doing me any favors. 
Yeah, so see, they really, really do attempt to block you from getting the backstab there with their shield. Which I think is a nice touch. So, uh, enemy AI, in my opinion, seems smarter. So, it's it does seem like they're... Uh, I mean, you can still get the backstab, clearly, but they seem much smarter, and it does seem like they're trying to not just make the game... I, it's something I was talking about with only Afro actually on my video I just uploaded today or something he asked about was if they're trying to make the games more accessible and I think the fact that the enemy AI is more smarter to be difficult means that they're not you know I mean a Souls veteran is not gonna have as much trouble with it obviously because you've played Souls games before but I think uh, you know I think new players definitely it's not gonna be a welcoming thing for new players at all yeah there are knights all over this place all over here. Oh, wow. I got so lucky there. I didn't realize I was two-handing again. And, uh... I gotta, I gotta get better about that with this thing. It is not doing me any favors. I mean, that time, I guess it did. Actually, it did me some favors just now. Really lucky there. Now that I'm not facing an enemy, let's look at this thing. I mean, it's just a lance from... Like, the way a lance functions, but it's pretty neato. Oh, okay, so look at this guy, uh, character, with the shell wrapped around its back. It reminds me of the, uh, the merchant from Dark Souls 2, actually. The first merchant that you run into. Uh, personally, I, like, I really think it reminds me of that merchant. Alright, I think if I remember correctly, this is actually... Yeah, this one's a red red eyeball spear knight, so... It's a harder one! Even more reminiscent of Demon Souls. The fact that they have more difficult ones that have things in their eyes. Actually, uh, I guess Dark Souls 2 as well, really. When you think about it, because they had enemies that had glowing eyes who were more difficult versions. Uh, actually, I think there were... Uh, those they were completely completely growing red, so I guess this is more demon souls. So excuse me, more just more straight demon souls. All right, come on, that's nope. Apparently not. Thought it'd be a backstab time. And what you can do, what you can do, leave yourself open. That's what you're gonna do. Oh, ooh, got me with this shield bash, good. See, this really feels like a one-on-one -on -one fight. Until I get the backstab. <laughs> that ruins that a little bit. Okay, I tried to get a charge attack. I thought it'd be fun. We both did it. There is a Berserk-esque Guts attack where I think you actually take don't take damage for a moment. And you can just... Or maybe you do take damage, but you just really, like, plow right through it. Alright, let's go ahead and use this. This exile was chased from his homeland and haunted by a black sun. Will this be the dancer the Frigid Valley is referring to? I don't know. <laughs> let's find out. Mayhaps, but chased by a black sun. That's interesting. Wait, I want to reread that actually. The whole black sun thing is really interesting. And haunted by a black sun. What's it by a black sun? I wonder though, because sunlight was so important, I do wonder if again a black sun would be, is it the moon or is it like an abyss thing or just something completely different? You have to wonder. So if we do die, we can actually just pretty straight easily run to this. Uh, I'm debating, eh, let's just use an ember. Might as well. Probably should have saved it for when I was low on health. Probably. But I thought it'd be fun. So, yeah, you can tell by all the blood stains, something's about to go down. Alright, so let's go ahead. Oh, let's actually look at this guy, too, before I do anything. Notice that's a knight, like, killing, kneeling over. It looks like he's trying to cut off his own head. And, uh, that would not be seppuku, because you do it through your stomach if it is. But then, like, in front of him are headless knights. Definitely indicative of the lore. It, it has to be, because Miyazaki's behind this one, so I, like, I, I can't imagine it wouldn't be. Especially because we're going to get this Soul of a Proud Knight here in front of him, and then you see this cutscene where you're looking at this knight. Uh, all the lights going out, too. As 
the frigid valley is entering and creeping in. Oh, the door closes too. I actually didn't notice that. I think you actually get a boss fog too afterwards. So this is like Bloodborne in the sense that you don't get... At least for this specific boss, you don't get a boss fog until after you've fought the boss. But there is our Dancer of the Frigid Valley. Coming down. Oh, so... Smoothly. It's actually sort of Bloodborne-ish with the, the enemy that was summoned. Um, the... What was it? The Great One or... Uh, I can't believe I'm not remembering the name of this boss. But the one that's in your hard goal. Alright, so let's see if my method actually works for this. Still. So what I tried was just staying really close to it for the most part. Apparently it's not gonna work for that attack. Okay, did not work at all. And I'm already crushed to death. It's more for the sweeping attacks, I guess, that it did, and I was just staying close and it worked really well. Because you see those attacks that it's doing right now, it goes really far, and if I noticed that if you stood closer to it, it wouldn't affect you as much, but... I've got no health, and this is probably gonna be a death. Oh. Uh, okay. Also, notice that it lit the floor on fire. The carpet's on fire right now because of this. Alright, so it's trying to grab... I guess you want to stay by its butt. Nope. Hmm. I wonder if this one goes two hands. I don't know. That was the that was the method I tried the first time I fought it, which is staying really close to it, and it worked well. That was when I finally beat it the first time. But we'll try again with a lot more health. All right. So you can see the fog wall. The fog gate is actually up. So that was something I, I wanted to show. Why did it, was it not traversing? I don't know. Let's add some resin to ourselves here. And try again. Try, try again. I'm doing a little bit more damage, but not a lot. Oh, no, it kind of actually indicated on the ground where he, she was about to attack. Is that a one-hit kill on this build? Apparently not. Close enough that I should really use an ember. Oh, next time. Let's dance. Hey, dancer. Let's dance. That's a Johnny Cage quote. Oh, man. That was a good start. Alright, buddy. You and me. Let's dance. I'm doing it because I heard that you're into dancing. That's, that's what the word in the street was that you, you like dancing, and I was like, cool, I'm down with that. I break, you wobbly goop around, let's do it, let's, let's do a dance thing. Nope, do not want that grab, that does a lot of damage. Ouch, ow. Oh yes, does not allow you to have any time. Come on, come on. I was gonna be so mad if I wasn't able to pull that off. Oh god, okay. Got to the item I wanted. Took some time, but I got to it. And yes, I realize I'm not using a, uh... Oh. Yeah, so now it's pulling out the other weapon. Oh yeah, so it does this, like, swingy attack. And even that swingy attack, I think if you stay on the inside of this dancer... You'll be okay. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistook. So I think that's really where you want to stay on the inside. Oh god, oh god, oh god. But now I'm on the outside, so I gotta get to the safer spot. I want to get back to the inside, it's just so scary. There we go, got it. Sort of, not really. You swung into me, I didn't like it. Okay, we're on the inside, we're on the inside, this is good, I think, probably. I really don't know, but I think. Oh, oh, okay. Don't know how I feel about that, then. Oh, no, 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 why'd you just... Why did you drink so much Estus? I did not want you to drink that much, that... Oh, that button delay. That 
abundantly just destroyed me. I mean, yeah, I could be playing better, but I uh, should have known. I played Dark Souls enough, I should have known. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh god, go to Divine Blessing. Let me pull this back out. Because I think this could be the time. This could be the one. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what you're doing, but it does not look good. Nice. That was that that felt like a good hit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey there. Hey there. Okay, this is it. Gonna get greedy and gonna attack it. So the first time I beat it was in San Francisco when I got to play <gasps> Dance Your Soul! Nice. Wait, what is the air of the fire destroyed? Is that what it said? Oh no, I really wish I saw that. I guess like in editing I'll make it appear and show what it was. So I got Dancer Soul, but yeah. So in the San Francisco build, when you play this, if you beat the dancer, the demo immediately ends. You're just done with it and ends. But I beat the dancer at the exact same time as I died. I died and beat it at the same time. Ran over, dancer was still dead. I did it. And it was just like if you beat a boss at the same time as you die in the Souls games, you usually it will give you it and you've killed it. But uh, I was still able to play, so I kind of broke the demo. Whoops. All right, so it looks like I'm still able to play. So, um... But that's it. So that's that, as far as I know, is the end of the demo. So we have gone to the secret hidden area and fought the frigid enemy. We fought the dancer of the frigid valley. I cannot go into my items and look at any of the stuff I picked up. So uh, that is that. So what I'm going to do, thank you guys who want to watch this up to this point and just see what the demo contained. Thank you so much for watching. Much, much appreciated. I'm going to go ahead and start a uh, new save. I'm not going to go all the way this far, but I want to show off the sword arts because I think that's important as it's a new mechanic. One thing I do want to talk about real quick, though, before we do that, is that you'll notice, and I, I hope you've noticed, that this really does feel like Dark Souls. I think just from watching this, you can tell. And that's like when I first saw it at E3, that's what got me excited. I wasn't able to play it, but I was able to watch it be played, and it looked like Dark Souls 1. It feels like Dark Souls 1. It's a little bit faster like Bloodborne, but it definitely is a Souls game. It feels like a Souls game, and it feels more so like Dark Souls 1 than any of the other Souls games. Uh, let's see how an alluring skull, skull looks, because I haven't used that yet. Here you go. I have an alluring skull. That's how it looks. Oh, we didn't actually look at it. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. We also didn't look at throwing knives. Ooh. Oh, that's so fast! Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool how fast you can throw them. That is awesome! You can combo those up. That is sick. I like it. I like it. And it works better against those guys since they can't, like, properly guard against it. Alright. Hey! Hey, you! I have... Oh, it already ran out. I was gonna say I have, um... Gold Pine Resin. Look how many knives are stuck to him! Oh! For a brief moment, you can see a crap load of knives stuck inside of him. That was pretty nice. I want more knives. I want more knives in them. Yep. That that's pretty cool. That's uh, not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. I like seeing all those those knives stuck in. Oops. Oops. Hey. Hey you. Yep, come walk towards me. I'll give you some presents. I'll give you some more presents. Alright, <laughs> that was my fun. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start a new uh, network test, so let's go ahead and quit this. And 137, not, not bad for being both of those things. So I went out and it went straight to a new game, so it looks like you just don't have a choice. You, you can't. It doesn't save your status once you leave. So that's, uh, that's interesting. But... Uh, with this, I can start to show you some of the sword art stuff, and the other character, the build with the axe, I know has a different sword art as well. And this will be everywhere. When I put together my edited video, I'll show this more too. But um, yeah, so here's a little bit of sword art stuff for you guys that I can show you shortly here once this loads up. And if I remember where the weapons are, I can also like speed run to those weapons too. So uh, this is your knight build. Uh, I think he actually does have different, like a little more health and a little more stats. So. I might have actually, the build I gave myself might have been a slightly harder build, because I bet this guy has more defense, too. I'm going to just give myself that. 
Uh, because I feel pretty bad about how many tries a couple of those bosses took. Like, nah, it was, it was all good, man. But the one thing I want you guys to look at right off the bat... Alright, so this just has a sword. That's all I start with with him, weapon-wise. He has no magic, but if you look, notice how I have a different type of buckler. But this one has a shield on it and the logo on the bottom left. And the other thing that I have, though, is this shield, and it has sword art um, that you see there. Also, there was a counter before when I first played the game at uh, E3, and that's not there anymore. And I'm, I'm, that's interesting that they took that out, because that actually used to indicate how much sword art you can do when I played at San Francisco and when I played the PAX Prime build, and that seems to be gone. So if I hold this, now you can use this sword art. Um, so if I'm holding L2... With while I have this certain shield equipped that shows the sword, I can use this sword art. Um, it looks like it actually does combo. Oh, here it also makes your stamina drain the whole time. Oh wait, oh it uses magic. It uses magic MP instead now. Interesting. All right, so it actually drained my magic meter. So you can actually restore that then. Oh, I, this build doesn't have as much SS hash S this. That's uh, also interesting. So, I wonder if I hold two-handed, I can still do it two-handed as well. I wonder if, if it's going to be more powerful that way. Let's try to test that out. So, if I two -hand, don't two-handed and I do it... Okay, I need to hit him to make it actually matter. Alright, so that was 99 health. Same enemy, two-handing now. It was 153 health, so it actually does make a difference. So, yeah, apparently two-handing is going to be better anyways, even when you're in this version. Here's my R2 with it. Uh, L1 uh, just goes back to a block, so, yeah. Thought I'd try anyways. I figured as much, but I wanted to try. All right, so that's 131 R... Well, I want to see if once I run out, 105... But that, okay, so now I'm out, so let's see if it does anything different in terms of damage. Because that's really what I'm curious about. 64. So it actually, it seems like it dropped your damage that you uh, output when you don't have the MP attached to it. That sword art. Alright, so there's that. And Ember myself up. Also, I do think I have more defense right now, so just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there that I used a harder build. Plus, this, I, I actually prefer this weapon. This is my, I should have gone with this build for showing it off and just been like, Here's me playing well with a weapon that I like and I'm good at. Because I am really legitimately much better with uh, this weapon. But here we got the great sword, and now I can show off the great sword stats, or uh, what the great sword hit can do. So, uh, notice that stomp. I think that's. I think that actually makes it so you can, like, step through and poise through an attack, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm actually using up uh, MP trying to do that to him. Hey, how about you attack me so I can show this off? All right. Uh, I I don't know. I gotta figure it out better. All right. So there's the R2. I think there's more to it though. I think there's more to it. Oh, you also have more Estus with this build. You have ten instead of six. I really did nerf myself in terms of builds that I, the build I chose to use. Man, like, I'm just not good with lances, and I'm not good with, uh, I don't know, like, great swords either. Like, <laughs> honestly, this is the type of weapon I would be using would be a short sword. This is my weapon of choice. And look how many more hits I can take, too. Man. Oh, man. People are gonna think I'm awful at this game. I mean, most of you guys aren't, but, like, trust me, you get those comments if you play at all poorly. So, and maybe I just them. Uh, oh, see, like, missing that timing. That was just, that was just poor play. Alright, you. I choose you. I choose you. Oh, look, we also found out some more stuff that you, uh, don't get hurt through that other attack. Alright, I do want to get the dual swords, the dual rapiers, so I can show that one off. So that's going to be my big goal here right now. Alright, I know I can kill one of you guys real quick. At least. Hey. There. Hey, you! I'm gonna... <laughs> parry you. Because that's uh, the thing to do. 
Yeah, I should be able to get those dual scimitars. I was saying dual rapiers. I meant dual scimitars. I should be able to get those dual scimitars real quick now. Come on, come on. You can make it. I believe in you. I believe in you. He did it. He's so good. He's so good. He's my chosen undead. Alright, where's this guy? I do want to see how much damage he outputs on me. If he gets a chance to. Which he won't because I just stabbed him in the dick. It's the only way to play souls. Yeah, seriously. Oh no, he did a good amount. Well, that was his that was his heart attack, his rough attack. So I don't know, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't do more damage. I imagine that this is better armor. It looks like stronger armor. I actually really like this armor too. I like the design of this armor. It looks really cool to me. It's not too over the top either. And that's I think that's part of what I like about a lot of the armor in Souls. Is they, they managed to make it look cool without making it look completely over the top ridiculous. Like it actually looks like viable plate armor and I like that. I think that's awesome of these Souls games. Interesting to find out that there actually is a humanity type of thing because that was not in the game last time I played and they are changing things up. Um, so it just goes to show that a lot of things are constantly changing. Still. So even like stuff that's in this might change because they've already changed stuff since I last played the game a few months ago. Alright, we got those Legion Scimitars. Now we can show off uh, Sword Arts with it. Oh, whoops. Alright, so... Uh, apparently that's L2. Is This is my L2 with it. I thought there was a spinny attack. Maybe if, it's, if I hold R2? Mm, I know there's a spinny attack. Because I saw them use it. That's not it! That is not it! How do I use the spinning attack? Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, interesting. Alright, so you have to tap R2 right after you, uh... Right after you hit L2, and then he does that spinning attack. So it seems like all of them actually function differently in terms of just how you're going to do it and pull it off. So... Uh, spinning... Like, spinning as I tap R2 right afterwards. What happens if I tap R1 right afterwards? I wonder. That's nothing. Alright, so Greatsword is the one that I need to figure out now. Is how to utilize that one's function. Let's figure out against this Abyssy guy how to do it. Oh, bad timing. Whoops. I'm just walking along, chug chugging my Estus. Don't mind me. Like, that, that did not feel like a thing to me. Alright, let's... Uh. Okay, so that was me tapping L2 to R2. And this is what... Whoops. Oh, that's what it does right there. So it's just like a really major swing. And I think you probably do poise through things with it. I think that's the benefit of it, is poising through stuff with it, so... I poise through, and yeah, you can see that I lose more MP when I use that, because I, I I, think this is a poisoning through type of thing. I use, oh, that's the R1 version of it, so you guys can see that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and switch builds real quick, so you can see uh, yet another build with more sword art stuff, and it's not sword art online, just sword art stuff in general, and I will be back. Alright, so you can see now this shield that I start with, with this warrior, has the uh, shield icon. This one is another buckler that, again, actually, like, look, this one doesn't have the high guard, the high block away, so this one actually has slightly different functionality. Uh, I've got a torch, and all I have is the axe, so this is what's going to be different. So if I press L2 now, he actually does that, that shout, and now the, the weapon is on fire, and it has just, that's its overall thing. As it's on fire, it's more powerful, and then when that runs out, um, I think, come on, run out fire. So everything else, I, it's similar movesets. Actually, it does look like it's a little bit different. So let's test that out a little bit more. I'm going to shout a bunch too, just because I specifically want to run out on purpose. So I can also show that off. All right, so this is my R2, or R1. This is my R2. Actually, the R2 is better now. This, this one's different with the R2, the way he does things. So that one has changed up. Uh, okay, and then here's two-handing it. So you guys can see that. All right, so... Oh, I'm still on fire. I'm still on fire! Whoa! Wait, no. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what it was going to be anyways, I think. Does holding L2 make a difference when I try? 
Let's find out. Nah, it's just because I was on fire. Alright, so... If I try L2 now... It lit on fire. What? I'm confused. I'm surprised it lit on fire. I figured it wouldn't have worked now that I'm out of MP. So... Uh, oh, okay, wait. Oh, can light on fire again? Okay, so apparently you can light on fire, but it affects how long it lasts. So, because if you notice, that lasted far shorter. But I am able to light it on fire still. So, interesting. Well, apparently that's how that mechanic works. And I'm going to check out the last build and see what else that has different. And then that'll wrap me up. So, see you guys shortly. Alright, so we got our other character. He has a shield, so we can't actually test out what the mace does, unfortunately. So... His shield is more of a blocking shield. We can't test out what the mace does, but we can at least look at some miracles. So let's see what he's got. He's got a heal. And actually, from my understanding, uh, if you press L2, it's a more powerful version of some of these things. So it's like an alternate version. So yeah, it just used up more. So you can use L2 as well. Let's test that out on uh, something else. Let's try Sacred Oath. Alright, so there's our Sacred Oath. And finally, Lightning Spear. That would be a good one to test it on, I think. So here's our normal Lightning Spear. Awesome. And if I hold L2, uh, it looks the same. Does it use up more magic, though? That's what I need to test now. Alright, here's L2. And then here's L1. Yeah, I think it did actually use slightly more magic. Because it, like, it uses it twice, so it actually is more magic for the Lightning Spear. But guys, that is everything. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this Dark Souls 2 beta network test experience. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know I was just... I, I don't know. I was talking about just general stuff at some points, but... Whoops! Hey there! <laughs> um, anyways... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I think this is really fun. I'm really looking forward to Dark Souls 3 after playing this. It actually, um, I like Dark Souls 2, but I think Dark Souls 1 is better. And this, to me, feels more like Dark Souls 1, which I actually look at as a pro. So, and I feel like the gameplay mechanics they're adding are interesting. I want to see how they work out. I like that Miyazaki's behind the level design. Um, there's a lot of things I'm really interested to see how they turn out. So, uh, and hopefully the lore looks like it could be really cool too, and it's shaping up like it could actually be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm so sad, I don't have it anymore. But guys, thanks so much for joining, and it's been a while since the Let's Play, but I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had fun watching, and uh, I'm going to be doing more Shadow Tower. That'll be coming back for sure. Um, I've got some more Dark Souls 3 content planned. Bloodborne stuff will be happening in November once the DLC comes out. I'll be doing Let's Plays and more lore again. And um, I'll be doing you know more super shows, more you need to knows, and chronicles of gaming. I'll I'll be doing more of those as well because I like those series. I hope you guys check them out if you haven't seen them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace.